is what's up welcome you in core java interview question and answer in this video tutorial we will discuss about one of the very important java interview question which is the almost continuation of previous video tutorial in previous interview question we had uh, talked about the uh, java date time api right so if you would not have watched my previous video tutorial then please go and watch and let's see in this video tutorial what we are going to unlock so here we have a question question is that saying that uh, what will be the output of the following java program and this is the code snippet right so here if you see uh, what basically uh, this code snippet says first of all we create an instance of calendar yeah by specifying the time zone right and that's ACI specific time zone and then we get the date object out of this uh, calendar instance and we are trying to print it right now in next line uh, what I have done just uh, in the instance of calendar again I'm trying to set the new time zone right uh, that is the European time zone right and, uh, and out of that out of instance object which is out of a calendar instance uh, I'm trying to get the another date object and just trying to print so what would be the output of this is really a bit tricky and that's what I wanted to discuss in this video tutorial so here is the eclipse same code I have written uh, so can you guess it what would be the output of here well so let's discuss what would be the output so here both the system dot out dot print and print line will print the same date value because because date uh, as in previous video tutorial what we have discussed date class object is always uh, print the local time zone and changing the time zone on the calendar class does not alter the underlying milliseconds value from the epoch time when say epoch time means time since january uh, 1 1970 right so if i run this application then you'll see uh, same time would be printed and both time is showing in the ist itself uh, what we have set in the beginning itself right but if you really want to override this value with uh, asian uh, basically a uh, time zone with the european time zone then in previous video tutorial we have discussed yeah, still i would like to show you so this is the example what we had discussed in the previous video interview question so here uh, what basically there are a couple of ways you can achieve so once you get, create the calendar instance don't set time zone over here what you have to do you get the out of uh, uh, date object from the calendar and then uh, we can make use of the uh, date simple date format right there we can specify the time format right and uh, in date format we can set the time zone so initially i have set the time zone european time zone and just i'm calling this date format passing this date object right then you will get the time in the basically european time zone right now uh, in the same date format just i'm trying to uh, override this time zone right so now we are setting asian time zone asian time zone and uh, what i i'll do when i try to print a date object right now this oh, oh, this as per this uh, latest uh, setted uh, basically time zone we will get time in the basically asian right asian time zone so if i run this application then here you can see initially we have set a time in the basically uh, asian time zone and that's what we are getting so here we have give, uh, set the uh, date format so in this date format we are getting the time then we have given the time uh, in hour minute second so that gets printed and this is the value what you are seeing over here that is the time zone right so this is the value for the european time zone and this is the value for the asian time zone right uh, same thing you can achieve through the java 8 right so if you look into the java 8 same thing you can achieve but that is little more readable format right so here uh, we will use uh, first of all uh, date time formatter for date time formatting for formatting so here you can specify uh, basically your date then time and whether you want to print in am and pm you can specify as well and he, this is the time zone right and here you can use a basically zoned id uh, and that there you can pass the time zone id itself and uh, after that uh, zone id uh, we will uh, basically this is a source uh, zone id and this is the destination zone id so we get the time in this 
and will convert it to corresponding destination time zone and here i have used java 8 basically local date time api which basically composed of date and time both and here on this uh, 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 object of uh, basically local date time we have called at zone and there we are passing the source uh, time zone right and uh, and what we will do here we are just on this reference uh, uh, zone time date we are calling with uh, zone same instant and there we are passing the basically destination time zone and here uh, basically uh, uh, this zone uh, uh, zone uh, date time which is basically contains the source zone time which is an ACM time zone we are printing over here and uh, same corresponding uh, date and time we would like to print in the basically BS as you say, BST or you can say European time zone so that's what we are uh, basically formatting this time as well and if I run this application then we will get the output so initially we get the time in the IST or uh, Europe uh, sorry ASEAN time zone and second is the output uh, which is in the BST or you can say European time zone so here completely complete difference you can get the time difference right so that's all I have in this video tutorial guys uh, as far as uh, source code source code, uh, source code con uh, concerned I'm going to upload this all source code on the kkjavatutorials.com and from there you can download the code. So guys big thank you for watching this video and if you want to learn Java in much more detail then you can refer our website kkjavatutorials.com. Guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial.